figure I might as well try. Are you, uh... I live here in Long Beach. I've sold my house in England. I just got married two weeks ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Let me ask something. Uh, when you're on death row today, you're basically in solitary all the time. All 23 years I spent in solitary confinement while waiting to be executed. Unfortunately for me, I was made out to be a mental heroine, someone who had stalked a stranger. Because of that, I was treated with the word death row. Meaning that I was treated with every degradation you could imagine. While I endured my tormentors and my act of defiance became my education and involvement as a human being. I studied educationally six years in university. I became the foremost late person of DNA science. Wrote to Dr. Alec Jeffries for 12 years, the inventor of the science. And I worked very hard to have the acumen to come back to life, to be able to write about my life. I wrote these two books. In 2008, I wrote two thousand, Seven Days to Live, the story of my 23 years of confinement. And in 2013, I wrote two, Seven Days to Live in homage to the 10 years of my freedom. Because sadly, men who have gone through the things that I've gone through execute themselves. They can't bond again. They can't make that connection with society as I have. And I've strived very hard to let go of the anger to be fulfilled with the opportunity that would allow me to do exactly what I did. I celebrated my first 10 years of freedom on January 16th by getting married to Jessica Louise Stubley in, in uh, Las Vegas. And we had a beautiful ceremony and we posted it over the internet to our family back home. And now I have nothing else to do but to shamefully stand here and try and get help because I have no resources. I have an amazing story to share with people. The simple message that I carry is education. The education I gave myself allowed me to come back today and do this. Thank you very much.